to share with you a, a period of my life, uh, the last couple of years, which actually brought about a rather dark period of my life, um, struggling really to be satisfied with my purpose, uh, be satisfied with uh, an expression that I could make uh, of myself, of uh, how I could tell people about me, um, because I'd shielded myself for so long. And the first video I'm going to show you, the clip I'm going to show you, is a video I made back in 2017. I've been making videos uh, for quite some time using drones and photographs and uh, time-lapse photography, uh, but I'd never put my voice to camera and I certainly had never put my face in front of the camera. And in 2017, I was in a very, very different place to where I am now. It was a dark place. And I wanted to say something. I wanted to, to reach out and tell anybody that would listen, but also to actually get it out of me, to express myself. I will see a stranger today through the eyes of compassion. I will remind myself that this stranger has parents and people who love her, just like me. I will remind myself that this stranger has moments of joy just like me. I will remind myself that this stranger has moments of anguish and suffering just like me. I will remind myself that this stranger will one day grow old just like me. I will remind myself that this stranger will go through the cycles of illness and recovery, just like me. I will remind myself that this stranger will one day die, just like me. Through the eyes of compassion, I will know this stranger, not as a stranger anymore, but as a living soul, just like me. Well, this next clip is set also in Doi Tao, and it's only 11 months ago. In actual fact, this was kind of the icebreaker for me to be in front of the camera and to put my voice very, very briefly and my face or my body in front of the camera. I had issues with self-image. I had issues about reception by other people. Well, that's all gone by the by. I couldn't care if monkeys what other people think about me or what I say or how I look. So. Uh, to all the people that have given me negative comments that I've deleted and the people that give me thumbs down good luck to you thanks for watching my videos um, I actually broke the ice on that occasion and uh, I'm now happy making videos I'm happy in front of the camera but uh, take a look at this video it was a very very emotional time uh, to look at uh, this poor creature suffering
well, I hope you agree that, uh, you know, after that, how could I not start talking about what I was seeing? How can I not uh, show you uh, by explaining what was going on? How could I... How could I let that scene go by without me explaining that the man spent an hour in the water with that calf, trying to get the calf out of the mud, trying to get him onto the bank? The calf was so exhausted. And after uh, a while, he went away on his bike. He came back with uh, the owner of the calf and they brought some rope with them. And after they then struggled with pulling the calf's tail and trying to shove the calf up the bank, and the calf by this time was exhausted. Um, I suggested we lasso the one end and, uh, and use the rope to pull the poor thing out rather than the pushing and pulling on the calf's tail. great to see the calf run away in the end and you know make a few grunts and uh, noises as he went away it was lovely but it's that sort of commentary that I didn't do back then and I've got a couple of years of videos that uh, I uh, made and at the time I was quite happy with them I wasn't a keen editor as I am today and I think they lacked so much explanation I was trying to tell a story in video form without my voice. How stupid. Putting my voice in front of the camera and explaining things was the answer. And that, in actual fact, as in full circle of this conversation and the purpose of this video, is to rejoice as to coming out in front of the camera has lifted my, my feeling of anxiety and my feeling of, of, of concern as to you know, how people will receive me. I couldn't care, as I've just said. I'm happy to be doing this because I'm happy to be sharing what I see, what I feel, what I think. Anyway, thank you very much for staying to the end of this video and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me a comment below. Consider giving me a thumbs up. Check the description, you'll see a little bit more detail about these uh, two clips that I've just shown you and uh, where I am uh, videoing this uh, today at this coffee shop. Check back on a regular basis. I see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay well, take care. Bye bye.